In this demonstration, we're going to look at wound cleansing and debridement. Again, we're going to use our simulated wound model and look at this sacral pressure injury here. In assessing the tissue types before we actually do cleansing or debridement, we can see we have some red healthy granulation tissue in the base, although as you can see, there is a bit of vis visible bone at the deepest part. We also have some gelatinous slough at the upper aspect here, some more tenacious slough over on the side and a small area of dry necrotic tissue. So our granulation tissue needs to be cleansed using gentle techniques. We're going to use an aseptic non-touch technique to fold our gauze Moisten it with some saline. So that can be used to gently clean the granulation tissue. However, your gelatinous slough may need a little bit more aggressive cleansing and or some mechanical debridement to remove that. In this case, your woven gauze can be very helpful for that. Again, using a non-touch technique and some increased force to pick up and mechanically remove that gelatinous slough. 